honestly terrified, but at the same time, I'm a little excited. Let me just fill y'all in on what I'm about to do. So it's officially spooky season, AKA Halloween season. Even though it's September, it's not even October yet, but I have seen people already starting with the Halloween decorations, with Halloween themed nails. So I thought, why not just go ahead and start the Halloween series early in September? So last year in October, I did a Halloween series for the whole entire month of October. So this year, I wanted to do the same thing, but a little bit differently. So I'm gonna take all of the sets that I did last year and recreate them and see if I can do them better this year. So I should be doing these sets even better than what they were last year. So um, if you've been with me since last year, you've already seen these, but if not, I got you. We can, we can catch y'all up real quick. This is what I did day one last year of the Halloween series. I was super nervous about it because I never done like really detailed nail designs before ever before this series so i was super proud of this set but we're gonna see if we can amplify it we're gonna go up like a few notches just a few we will see we'll see so we're gonna see where i can take this nail set this is gonna be a whole series so if you want to keep up with my progress make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified each and every time i post but anywho let's get started with day one Okay, so we're gonna start off with these cover tips that I just put on really, really quickly. These are the tips right here that I'm using just in case if anybody wants to know. So if you go back and watch that video from last year with this set, I did it, I think I did it using a acrylic if i'm not mistaken but this time of course we're gonna do it with the poly gel so of course we're using poly gel from mccart i'm gonna use this white one and this black one is called boba all right and i'm also gonna go ahead and bring out my slip solution whoops please 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 there we go and then my poly gel brush here's where i got it from it is on my Amazon storefront. So I'm gonna start with the boba. So I know that these nails aren't as long as the nails that I did last year. So we're just gonna ignore that little factor. We got a little bubble on the side. Go ahead and pop that. There we go. And pat it on out. I kind of forgot that this black is more of a translucent black than a solid, but I feel like it's gonna give to set some character, so I'm not I'm not gonna be too mad about that. And with poly gel, you really got to trust the process because look how this looks, but it's going to transform. Just watch. I feel like with poly gel, the main thing is smoothing everything out. So you basically just gotta brush it down, brush it down until everything is smooth. You basically mold it to how you want it to look. And once I got everything pretty leveled out, that's when I start to drag like all the extra poly gel towards the free edge then pat and take all of that extra poly gel off and then you're good to go. I wish I would have did this set longer. I'm not even gonna lie. That's the only regret I'm having right now. So have y'all ever had like the shape of a nail and it turned out so good that you don't even want to add anything else to it? You don't even want to file? Like who needs filing? Not you sis. Now for the candy corn. So with this set, it seems like I'm literally doing everything differently. Like I'm doing the design concept the same, but I'm using different products. I'm using poly gel instead of acrylic. And for the candy corn design, I'm gonna do that a little bit differently too. So last year I did the yellow, white, and orange colors using gel polish. I kind of ombre it out with gel and everything like that. I think that was one of my first times doing it. But this time I'm just gonna save myself just a little bit of trouble and do the ombre using pigment powders. I definitely want to knock out the easiest thing first. So we're gonna do the candy corn design first and then the eyeballs. I'm really nervous about these eyeballs, y'all. <sighs> but um, we, we, we gotta make it better. So we gonna make something shake. After 30 seconds, she's all cured. At this moment, I know I messed up. So let me just show y'all the picture of what I did before and then y'all look at what I got now. I messed up on the pointer finger, so I'm, let's just continue. <laughs> 
And I'm just taking some swipe from Young Nails. It has alcohol in it, so I use that to remove the sticky surface from the poly gel so we can get started with filing. Here I have some pigment powders from Amazon and we're just going to take out the yellow and orange. And I'm going to take this Perfect White by Madame Glam. And I'm going to take a thin layer of white and paint the entire nail and cure for only 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the yellow at the bottom. Ombre it up into the orange. Before I blend them together, do it right beside the yellow. Blend these two together right here. And that should do it. It was already looking candy corn-ish. I wanna put a matte top coat on these candy corn nails. I feel like it's only right because actual candy corn candies are matte. Like they have a matte finish. My issue with matte polishes is that it kind of ruins the nail design because it always runs. I've seen people say put down top coat first and then the matte so you don't ruin your nail design. But I, some other people say that that peels it off. So yeah, we're just gonna do what we got. So obviously the last part of this whole entire nail set is the eyeballs. And this is my reference picture. So I really wanna make it 3D. So don't laugh, but I use this dropper like the top of it right here to kind of be my mold and I know some of you guys are thinking why a dropper this is kind of the only thing that I have that's close to a ball shape but boom got the poly gel on top and then just kind of smear it all out to cover like the whole entire top of it and then it's gonna look just like that like a little beanie and then now i'm gonna cure i'm probably gonna cure for about a minute to make sure it's cured through and through now it's all cured i'm just gonna try to pry it off with my tweezers the last one just kind of popped off off camera so i'm hoping this one does the same and there we go. Boom. Whoops. Okay, now, boom. <laughs> now look at the comparison between the one I already filed and then the one I just plucked off. So y'all know we got some filing to do. That's too big. I just took my file and filed down this part down here a little bit. Cause I wanted 3D, but I don't want a big golf ball on my nails at the same time. Now I'm just gonna fill out the inside with some more white poly gel. And then I wanna smooth it out, make sure it's nice and flat at the bottom and cure. Now that that is already cured, let's go ahead and put a, another layer on top. I like to do this in layers because if poly gel is too thick, it won't cure all the way through. This way, whenever I'm filing, it doesn't matter how deep I go, I won't run into spots that aren't cured because I've done it before. <laughs> and if you've done it, you know what I'm talking about. And this part is probably going to be the most tedious part. Just trying to file this eyeball down to the size that I need it to be. I would highly recommend finding an actual mold that is the size that you need it to be. I just couldn't find nothing smaller. So now we have to waste time filing. So from here on out, I'm gonna be using Madame Glam's gel paint and I'm using a detail liner brush to apply the gel paint to the eyeball, which is also from Madame Glam. All right, so let me tell y'all, I have looked high and low for maybe a detailed tutorial on how to do an iris on a nail using gel and I could not find one anywhere. So everything that I'm doing, I kinda, I'm, I'm winging it basically. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with some black and this is gonna be our base color and we're just gonna make a circle i feel like i made it too big so i'm trying to go in with some acetone to clean it up a little bit and i'm smudging it ah. yep that's not it's not coming out like those little shadows but since this is a halloween set it doesn't need to be neat so let's try to 
turn it around. So I'm just gonna take some red. Um, ooh, that might have been too much. I want to dab it like lightly in those areas that are kind of shadowy. And then I'm going back in with the acetone and blotting it out and just making red smudges. Hopefully this looks the way I want it to look. I'm going for like an irritated eye look. Okay, that's how it looks after I cured. I feel like once we start adding more stuff, it's gonna come together a little bit more because this looks a little scary, but it's supposed to, so. You know what let's just keep going <laughs> so if you look at the iris in my reference picture you see the colors black brown and then a lighter brown and then black again in the pupil so to try to recreate this iris i went around the circle with a black ring and then i'm going to go back around with brown and then i'm going to mix white into the brown that i have to make a lighter brown to go in the center now i'm just going to take the lighter brown and just make a little dot in the middle and then i'm not going to cure this now to try to mimic the iris of an eye, I'm just gonna take my detailed liner brush and just drag it through all of the colors. I started to drag it from the center out to the edge and then for some parts, I dragged it from the edge to the center. I'm honestly just playing around with it just to see how this is gonna look. I did feel like it needed some more of that lighter shade of brown, so I went back in the middle and just put just a teeny bit more in the middle there. The goal is just to make the colors blend into each other basically. So I had to go back around the edge and really just blend the black into that darker brown just a little bit more. And all of this is done before curing. I have not cured not one time yet. So I'm just taking my liner brush and really just feathering it out and it starts to come together. I really just played with the design until I was satisfied with the look. And it looks pretty good from here. So I went on and cured it for about two minutes, honestly. And then I put the pupil in with my dotting tool. If I'm gonna be honest, I was not expecting this to look this good. Like, I hope that's focusing enough because, ooh, ooh. Now this part was not in the reference picture, but I did have it in my original set. So I wanted to create just little veins. For the color, I just mixed a little bit of black into the red so it's not so bright. And then honestly, I've just made little squiggly lines all around. It kind of works out with the irritated eye look. And I just added two white dots with my dotting tool so it can look like light is shining off of the eye. And then after I cured that, I topped it off with some top coat. The top coat I'm using is by Not Polish. This is a little disappointing. So the two eyeballs are clearly different sizes and I do not feel like making another one. So I'm just gonna make it work. Let, let's try to do something right quick. I honestly feel like the two different size eyeballs will work because I mean, this is a Halloween set, so it doesn't have to be symmetrical. One can be popping out a little bit more than the other. But you can see the difference in the two. Like you can clearly tell the one I did on camera is the one I messed up on because I have more smudged red spots than the other eyeball. But like I said, it doesn't have to be symmetrical because it's Halloween set. So, you know, let's just rock out with what we got. So now we're breaking out some more poly gel. I'm using Rebel from a card. It's like a nude, it's like a lighter nude color. And I really want the eyes to look like they're popping out of the eye socket. So I'm just playing with the poly gel, poking at it until I'm satisfied with the look of it. And then after that, I'm going to cure for about 30 seconds. So as you already saw, I mixed black, red, and orange together. And I'm just gonna dab that on to the poly gel. I want a more textured look, so I'm gonna go back in with some acetone and dab that on there so it looks more smudged and textured. I wanna make it look like it's oozing blood. So I'm gonna go into the little creases with a dark red. I mixed a little bit of black into the red that was in the gel paints kit to get this color. And now I'm going in with a dry brush just to smudge out the edges of it. And then after I cure that, I'm gonna go in some of the creases with some black just to create a shadow effect. So I'm gonna smudge that in too. So now finally, we get to the blood drips. I really want to lay this on thick. So as you can see, I have a whole lot of gel paint. 
when it comes to these blood drips. I want that same 3D effect, so I'm going in thick with it with the first layer, and then I cure that for a minute long. Make sure you cure it and make sure it's cured all the way through. And then I'm gonna go in with the second layer, lay it on thick, just like the first one, so it can really pop out at you. So I'm halfway satisfied with the way this looks, so I wanna top it off with some top coat. If I can go back and redo the drips, I would. I probably would've made it a shade darker, cause like that bright red, it, it looks unrealistic to me. But overall, I like the look. So the very last thing that I have to do is the blood drips. I feel like this is one of the easiest, most beginner friendly nail designs to do, especially for Halloween. So you just start off with dots. So however many drips you want, that's how many dots you put. Then have a line going from the dot up to the cuticle. Then you connect those lines with curved lines like I'm doing right now, and then you fill everything out. I did the same design on the thumb that I did here off camera. And I think I'm gonna leave the pinky alone like I did last year with the design I did last year. But I'm topping it off with some top coat now. We're gonna cure that and then we're all done. I just wanna let y'all know that I am obsessed with this set. I was a little worried at first about the blood being too bright or whatever. Listen, forget about it. It looks great. <laughs> so at the end of all of my videos, I already know I usually write them. I think with this series, I'm gonna do hit or miss. Did we hit it or did we miss it? This one was a definite hit. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So y'all already know we have to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So this is what we did last year, and this is what we just did today. This was the best way to set this whole series off, let me tell you. I'm super excited to do the rest. So let me just show y'all what we're gonna do next week. This is the one that I did last year. And we're gonna recreate this set. So I'm super excited about it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. And y'all, I'm, I'm super excited. I'll see y'all next week.